everybody, my name is Molly Meep and welcome back to Franbo. Now where we last left off, if you all remember, we ended up finding Mr. Midnight. Yay! Now all we need to do now is just get through this dreaded house of the twins and find it, what it is exactly that we need in order to unlock that cage, grab Mr. Midnight, and get out of here before the house decides to consume us with all of its evil. Ugh, I don't want to lie around here and wait any longer. So let's go ahead and dive further into this house and see what we need in order to find that recipe because I got a feeling we have to perform some kind of spoopy ritual, but who knows? Let's go ahead and find out, shall we? All right, let's go. <laughs> okay, so what did I have? Oh yeah, I had the seed and the candle, ashes and salt and pepper and all that lovely fun stuff. All right, so there's nothing I can do for Mr. Midnight right now. So, whoa, hello. Who the hell was that? I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Oh, now there's roses around the stairs. Yay, <laughs> so glad that happened. Oh, hi. Oh, you scared me. I thought nobody was living here. There you are. We were waiting for you. Where is your head? Waiting for me? Why? You, the precious being from the other world, who would ever believe us? What are you saying? Sorry, but I can't make sense of what you are saying. Franbo, that's your name, right? And your mom and dad died tragically. Very brutal, right? And now you really want to know who killed them, right? Slow down! How is it that you know all this? We just know! We have to! We are part of this world! But don't be sad! Bad things happen to all of us, all the time! I wish I was at home with Mommy and Daddy now! Don't wish for things that can't be done! Find solutions and answers! I should do that, but Mommy and Daddy will never come back. Drink some tea and eat some cake. It will make you feel better. Thank you, but really, I need to know, who told you these things about me? Are you scared, little Fran? Of course not. I'm just curious, that's all. I'm mostly confused. You haven't asked us about your cat yet, Mr. Midnight. That's very odd for a girl who loves her cat more than anything in this world. And yet you look so calm after finding him in a cage, hungry and scared. Shouldn't it be us trembling in fear of you? I love him and that is why I'm here. I didn't mean to be rude to you. You want him back. Yes, please. I really wish to have him back. He's my best friend. Before we set him free, tell us about how it is that you came here. It's a long story. I escaped from a place. A very ugly place. They open the heads of children to find out what's wrong with them. Phil told me a secret and I was clever enough to find the way out. And then I came into the woods and met a giant ant. And I killed a bug and it was terrible. And then I met a rat who wanted to get his hair done. And then I made a door and that door took me here. But when I entered the door, something happened. I don't remember anything else. Ah, and I saw a real pine cone family. That was before I came here. They live in Mr. Antonio's house. They like berries. Ah, and I saw flying insects that got stuck in trees because they have long hair. That was also in the woods, and now I am here, looking for Mr. Midnight. That was some adventure. How old are you, Fran? I'm ten years old, but I have to turn eleven soon. And you? We are sixteen years old, much older than you, so you have to obey us. I don't want to obey you. You can't tell me what to do. You haven't even asked our names. That's not polite. 
<laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> and you shouldn't wander around in a house without permission. Are you stupid? A stupid little girl with no family at all. Hey! I'm not stupid! And I do have a family! I have Aunt Grace and my kitten! Are you crying? Because if you are, you'll get in trouble. If you don't do exactly as we say, you and your cat will die. Do you understand? Hmm. All right, I'll play. Yes, ladies, I'll do whatever you need. Good, now listen to us carefully. We need you to perform a little magic trick on us. Do you like magic? Ah, I knew I had to perform some kind of ritual. I knew that's why I had candles. Magic is magical. Who doesn't like magic? Anyway, this magic is very powerful. It's tremendous and dangerous. Here is the recipe. Be cautious and precise. Otherwise, terrible things can happen. Whoa, okay. Um, don't know if I can. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Do it yourself. We can't do it. It would kill us, you see. We weren't like this before. We used to be two different people in two different bodies. But how is it that you were like this now? One night, a long time ago, something appeared in front of us. We thought it was an angel, but it was not. Oh, that spoopy glowy lady. Oh, it's a guy. <laughs> He decided that we should spend eternity together. He cursed us to be like this. We never understood why. We have a spell to bring him back. But we will do that later, when we are not attached to each other anymore. And show him that he is powerless and he will regret it. That sounds terrible. I'll try my best to help you. We are going to gather some things you will need for the ritual. In the meantime, you can go and talk to your cat. But we won't set him free yet. Don't even try to open the cage. If you help us, we will help him. Thank you. I'll go and talk to him. And Fran, do you see this key? Can you imagine what can be opened with it? Can you? You silly, silly girl. <laughs> I bet that's the key to my cat's cage. All right, I'll play your spoopy game. I don't know if there's anything I can talk to Mr. Midnight right now, but let's see if he has anything new to say. Hey, meow, meow. Oh, friend, did you get the key already? No, my dear, I'm sorry. Those girls are scary. They just want to utilize me. They cut hair for me and took some blood. That's awful! I think it's for the recipe. I think they're witches. Wicked witches, you know, like in the stories we like to read. Yes, you are absolutely right. I don't know what to do. I don't know, Fran. What did those girls tell you? They told me they weren't attached to each other before. And that they will get revenge against the one who did this to them. And they also showed me a key. I'm pretty sure it's for this cage. They have the evil inside. I mean, maybe that someone had its reason. Hmm. Do you think we can do something to change their minds? There must be something, something that they are really afraid of. I don't know. I'll see what I can find. See you soon, my dearest. All right, so downstairs we go. All right. Whoa, hello. Hi, Mr. Bones. It's him again, but I haven't taken my pills. 
Yeah, just snip a snap your way out. <laughs> Jeez. Well, the window's open. Well, he opened the window. Yay! Let's just go jump out the window. This ought to be fun. Thank you, but who is he? I don't know. Go out the window. Oh, hello, Mr. Ribbit Ribbit. We'll croak a croak to you, too. A rusty old bicycle in the middle of an island. I don't think it would take me very far. There's nothing but water around this house. Hmm. Will you stop croaking? I found a bike on an island. That's weird enough. Hey, you. Yes, who's speaking? Me? I'm a toad. I have to tell you something. Yes? What is it? You are in great danger. Don't trust the girls. Why do you say that? Look, girl, I'm a toad, and I know I can swim away from this place. But they won't let me. Every time I try to get out of here, I magically come back. This house is like a huge magnet. A toad and cat mad magnet. They love us, but not to give us love. Just to use us. Don't trust them. That's terrible. That's why my kitty is here then. They gave you a recipe for some kind of magic, right? Yes, they did. Did you see the dead girl in one of the rooms? Well, that can be you if you try to do it. She tried, but she did it wrong. But what should I do then? I'm not a clever toad, but if I were you, I would be creative. Huh? Creative? I'll try to do my best. And girl, please save us all. I really want to get out of here. <laughs> A big, big rock. I'll leave it there. Oh. A long woody plank. I could do something with it. Yes! My makeshift bridge! Yay! Okay. Uh... Boof. Oh no! I'm down here again. Yay! Dun 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 Up I go, up I go. Okay. Use long plank with step. There we go. Let's try this piece of wood. Dun 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 dun. Okay, now let's use my knife. Use knife with hanging bottle. Hada! I cut the rope! Wonderful! Okay, time to go down. Hey! Oh, oh, I don't think I can jump down. So yeah, let's just go ahead and step down. Because if I jump down, I probably would break my legs and they'd probably go through my ass and out my spleen. But, oh, well, never mind. I'm fine. <laughs> Whoa, well, hey! Hey! Whoa. Well, that's what you get for trying to eat my bottle, you bastard. <laughs> ah, that burned. Why? There was no fire. There we go. Oh, I got the paper. This is so exciting. Um, okay. Revealing the true soul. The world hides the truth from you. Work your soul through life and you will understand the purpose of this act. If you try to corrupt this essence, your soul will be hidden and never see the face of truth. To destroy an impure soul or give freedom to those who are trapped, you will need blood from the executor of the ritual, five black candles, ashes to form a pentagram, a blue bloom moonlight rose, Salt and pepper, hair from the person you want to bewitch. Draw a pentagram with the ashes inside the black and white square. Put a light, lighted black candle on every point of the pentagram. Fill the cauldron with water and put the other elements in it. Boil and pour over the person you want to bewitch. And repeat these words while you walk around the pentagram. Bonde ir akan or ir baga o ibur namibur ir bonde ir akan or ir bagma hafma man dim. Gofima Iber Igitis Ernemi Bomeg Bu Iberum Isne. Oh, I might have said that all wrong, but I don't care. Um, 
okay. Oh, I forgot to read this one. Summon the old lost body, lost in darkness, lost in tears. Your body becomes alive through the hand of the one angel that decides to bring you sorrow. You will need the heart of a frog, the head of a young virgin, hair and blood from a black cat, a pentagram made of ashes, the burnt body of a fox. This must be cooked all together inside a pot or cauldron with plenty of water. When you are about to drink the potion, repeat these words. <laughs> Manambu kagnesi o, manai erg bonte er ibur. Esh eber mon kagnesi mabuka eber. Ferwern, ferwern. Okay then. So. I don't got none of that yet. <laughs> okay. Hmm. What was over here? Oh, hello! It's you again! Hello? Yeah, just go up and randomly say hi to a ghost. Who are you? Can't you hear me? I'm Fran. Uh, okay. Whoa. Whoa! Oh my goodness, the smell! Poor girl, who could have done this and why? I need to be careful and protect my kitty and myself. <laughs> Gents, the Blueberry Tree, Volume 2 and 1. <laughs> Antonio the Greatest, hey! Cool, the Queen of Meat, and Luciano Moran. So that's what that was. Oh, a record player, I wonder if it works. Let's see. Oh, there it works. Gotta love jazz. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, a typewriter, and it works. I guess I could write, but there is no paper. And a good writer has to know what to write about first. Okay. There are many books and things on the shelf. So many that it makes me dizzy. I'll just leave it there. Owls and cats are a bit alike. Both are curious. Both like to kill mice. And both are good companions of witches. That indeed. Oh, nope, nothing new. What about over here? Many tiny paintings and there is a cat. When I grow up, I will have lots of cat paintings on my walls. And other things, too, but I'm not grown up yet. Burning candles! Alright, I guess that's all there is to that. The stairs end up in a wall. Maybe that was the door I made and now it disappeared. I'll have to find another way out. Does this take me back to the well? Yep! Is that still hot? The frog died. It's not good to eat bottles. <laughs> nope. Well, wait, can I can I take your head? This won't work, huh? Whoa, why did I get spooked out? Okay, what about this? I can't do that. Well, can we use it in the water at all? Moonlight reflection. Oh. Well then, there's my rose. Yoink. <laughs> wow, this really is a nice blue rose. That's pretty. A magic blue rose, it grew on water. That was cool. All right, uh, so now what? Mm -hmm. Was there anything I forgot upstairs these stairs? Nothing else gonna pop up, right? <laughs> Still looks the same in here. Huh. Ha ha ha. Huh. So I don't know. Is there there's gotta be something else for me to get. That doesn't look like that. Hey, hey! Stop doing that! You spoopy, spoopy damn ghost! <laughs> Nothing with that, Rose. God dang. 
I did not like that face. She's just like, hey, hi, I'm coming for you. I'm just like, hey, no. No, no, no. Okay, so there's nothing else out there. So, what the frick then? Magic blue rose it grew on the water. Well, I want to put it in there. Now let me see. What's there left to do? There are some missing ingredients. I hope I'm doing it right. Oh, okay, I can't do it yet. All right then. Uh, what was the damn thing again? Heart of a frog, the head of a young virgin, hair and blood from a black cat. Pentagram made of ashes, the burnt body of a fox. I think that's what the twins are after. I have the flat, uh, the five black candles, the ashes, the blue rose, salt and pepper. Okay, hair from the person you want to bewitch. Blood from the executor of the ritual. That would be me. I have to... Oh! <laughs> Poke! Ah! Ouch! That hurt, but now I have my blood. Can I look at my bloody knife? Oh. My sweet red blood. <laughs> okay. Now we need the hair from the person we want to bewitch. That would be them. So where am I supposed to get their hair? I don't, I don't think this will work, but I don't know. I'm not sure what to do with this. <laughs> I don't know, I thought maybe like, eh, I'm being stupid. Where do I get their hair? Wait, can the toad, eh, no! Can the toad tell me anything else? Did you find a solution already? Um, <laughs> I don't know what to do, I'm mentally stuck. I know you have something that makes you see things that others can't. How do you know that? I'm a talking toad. Is that normal? I don't think so. <laughs> but you can talk to me. That makes you special. It's logical. Yes, you are right. But what about the things I can see then? Have you seen everything? Maybe you are missing some messages. I'll see what I can find. <laughs> Bye. Croak, croak. Oh, wait a minute. Is there something out here then? Doubters need the truth on papers. <laughs> Doubters? I guess some people believe when it's written down. But what does it mean? Who wrote this? I have papers, yes, but what truth? Oh, hello. <laughs> My sister is trying to catch me, but I ran away. I'm scared. Would you help me? I have a monster inside my head. Oh boy. Moonlight on the water! You are so beautiful and calm. I always feel like the moon is following me. I wonder if the moonlight does the same job as sunlight. <laughs> hmm. So it gives me something new out there, but everything in the house, it just leads me to the well. Hmm. I'm not sure what the frick to do. And I don't have any of these things. Oh, what should I do? I refuse to do this. It can't be a good thing. Maybe there is something else I can do. Oh, this is more magic to destroy evil. Um, I really should do this instead. But how can I get the hair from the girls? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so I have my blood. 
<laughs> there goes my blood. I hope it tastes good. Tra la la. Um, five black candles. No. Um, okay. So where do I use them? I won't even try that. Why? Ah, okay. Spread the ashes first. Wow, this worked out great. Very nicely done, Fran. Now use the black candles. Voila. I put one candle here and the other's over there. Okay, now what? Blue, bloom, moonlight, rose. Okay. Goodbye, blue rose. In the pot now. Salt and pepper into the magical soup. There are some missing ingredients. Yeah, I know. All right, let's do this. I'll get my kitty back. Hope it works. It should work. They are evil, but I'm a bit scared. I've never done these kind of things. Pretty fire. Candles lit. All right, I got that, but... How the frick do I get the hair? I don't have a way to make the bad potion. I don't know how to get the hair. Is there hair laying around somewhere? Oh my goodness, Mama! Let me... There's gotta be a way for me to do something to get the hair from the twins. I don't know. Do I need to, like, edit this? Use the bad recipe with the typewriter. Oh, hey! There we go! <laughs> click, 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 click. Typa, typa, typa. Six, hair from your head. Alright, there we go. Oh, what should I do? I refuse to do this. It can't be a good thing. Maybe there's something else I can do. Well, we already did. We edited. Even in games, I have to do editing. <laughs> editing in a game, in a game. Yay. Oh, hi. Fran, here are the materials you'll need. Have you studied the ritual? Yes, but I need, I'll need more time. I can't remember all the words. Well, learn them fast. Let us know when you are ready. Big, tall, mean girls. Oh! Psst, girl. I think you'll need help getting rid of this bag. I can do that for you. But I may need it. No, you don't. Trust me. If we want to get out of here, this bag must disappear. I'll take it. You didn't see me. Bye. Okay. Alright, let's do this. I'll get my kitty back. Yeah, but where, where the hell? Did they go back out here? Yeah, they did. Okay. We are waiting for you, Fran. Well, let's go then. Look, ladies, there's something missing. I couldn't find your hair in the bag. Hair, you say? There's no hair needed. We know that. But look for yourself. It's written down there in the recipe. That's true. How could we miss that? All right. There. Now get prepared. I'll let you know when I'm ready. All right. Let's do this. Dark hair from the twin's head. All right, use the boiling water. Now the hair, good. Whoa. I should show the girls that the potion is ready. Okay then. I made the most incredible magic potion in the world. Yay. <laughs> All right then, let's do this. All right, 
Oh, twinsy twins, I has your potion. Everything is ready. Let's go to the kitchen. Good, let's go. After you. All right, then. Please sit down and close your eyes, ladies. <laughs> and now I'll say the words. Bande Rakan or Er Benma. Oh, the Bur Namibur Er Bande Er Akan. Begma haf me man dem govima e bur, e uptus er name bomeg, e burem is nay. Wait a second, that is not the right spell. You tricked us! God, that was spoopy. I just pulled some supernatural shit right there. Okay, I'm outy. Outy dowdy. Nada nada. Oh, wait, I just went the wrong way, didn't I? I don't know. Does it work here? I'm clever enough to find another solution, I think. Hmm. I don't know. Can I break it with the broom? It won't do. Ah. Darn. I bet there's something in there too, but I I can't open it. I don't know why. Why do I why do I keep doing that? Hada. <sighs> Go on, friend. Please get me out of this cage. Find the key. I did. What is it, friend? Open the cage. I can't. The key doesn't fit. Did you see another keyhole somewhere? Yes, I saw one. I'll see if it fits there. I'll be waiting. Hurry up. Well, yeah, but it's right here, but it, it, it's not working. Negative. But, oh, wait, that's probably where. Aha! The key was for this keyhole, and what's that? A puzzle. Hello, huh? This mirror doesn't do its job. Oh, the puzzle's right here. Okay. Well, click a click. So, oh, goody, goody gumdrops. We got ourselves a gear puzzle, and this looks like it could take quite some time. So, I'm going to go ahead and leave that for the next episode when we will continue forward with Franbo and find a way to probably get what we need through this puzzle, which will probably give me the key I do need in order to free Mr. Midnight and I can finally leave this dreaded place. Because I'm sure that there's nothing else left to do with the twins since, I mean, I kind of already sent them up, up, and away into the spirit world so anyways thank you so much for watching and until next time i will see you all again in the next video bye, -bye.